Hello, Aquarius. Rambler Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. What's that? Eight wands. Ooh. Thanks for tuning in one more time, Aquarius. <laughs> Appreciate your time. That I do. That I do. And, you know, while I'm talking about time, I want to remind you all my videos are time stamped. You can jump right on ahead to the love cards anytime you would like. Because I got something to say. And that's a big thank you to all my Aquarius friends. And hit that like button. Hit that subscription button. And a big thank you for your view right here, right now. Thank you. Definitely two cups, eight wands. What's going on here, Aquarius? What's that? Oh, strength. A major. <laughs> a little fire there, too, if you ask me. Aquarius. <laughs> I'm going to try and get into this right here. Ten cups. What's going on, Aquarius? Oh, still. It's all vision. I'm going to get... I'm going to... Or are they, <laughs> oh, Aquarius, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wow, son, I'm going to put these down, Aquarius. These are just happy, happy cards right there. All right. <laughs> I definitely want to thank you all for your donations. Aquarius, if you bless me with a donation, thank you. And, of course, a big shout out and thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members for your continued support month after month. I always take a minute right here, just show a couple of the tarot decks that we're giving away to members of Ramblin' Nation, first half of May. What do I got here? I got four, five right here, giving away in May. Uh, you know, we give away 14 or 15 tarot decks every month, 40 or 50 t-shirts every month, right? Ramblin' Mikes and Ooey Gooey's and Soft and Chewy's and all that fun stuff. Here's just a couple, what is this? Uh, the Ethereal Visions. It's a gorgeous tarot deck. Giving that away to a member of Ramblin' Nation. What's this, man? Star Spinner Tarot. Super cool. Super cool. Uh, the Modern Witch. We all know it. We all love it. Giving that to, away to a member of Ramblin' Nation. Uh, Mystic Monday. Great uh, modern deck right there. And uh, tarot, tarot de la Nuit. Awesome deck. That and many, many more decks. I don't got time to, or, or the space to, on my desk for all the stuff we give away anymore over there. And we do that every Wednesday night. I play cards over there on Wednesday nights. So I give away tarot decks and t-shirts. Every Saturday night, these are all live broadcasts on my second channel, Ramblin' Nation, which is a membership channel. And then Sundays, every Sunday, Sunday, fun day over there at Ramblin' Nation. Now, of course, I share... Sunday fun days with the collective, like I always have. Two Sunday fun days a month with the collective, and the remainder of the Sundays, if there's two, wow, Aquarius, Nine of Pentacles. This, I gotta put these down, Aquarius. There's just nothing but good cards coming out. So listen, if you've been thinking about becoming a member, I'd love to have you. Hit that join button, it's right beside the description button. Now, before I get into the cards, one more thing. I wanna share with you, Aquarius, that I, my, my website is up. Divinely loved tarot.com. There's a link in the description. Just that one button push will take you right over there. Now, on my website that I've been working on, everybody's been wondering where Mike's been at. I've been working over here with a bunch of friends. I got tarot readers on here. I have energy healers on this website. I also have modules or teachings on twin flames or a sacred unions. A bunch of amazing stuff over here. Take a minute. Go on over there and check that out. You know, if you're going to type it in, it is divinelyloved-tarot.com or use the link. And also on my website, all kinds of stuff is going to continue to be put on there. I have a team of amazing people working on that uh, beside with me. And um, also I'm working on a tarot deck. It's cool. I got some pictures of it up on there. Check it out, Aquarius. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's take a little look. See, I love for Aquarius. Thanks for giving me a minute. Love you, Aquarius. Those are nice cards. Let's see if they're going to show up again. Here we go. Let's do it. Hey, Terry Love Team, Aquarius is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. 
Help Aquarius, seeing and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all of these amazing pictures. Let's put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Aquarius' highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Let's, uh, let's throw a Celtic cross. Clarification, peeling them off the top, love team. Thank you. Here we go, Aquarius, cutting the deck. Gonna throw that Celtic cross and clarify the whole thing. Gonna give you a nice full spread right here. Here we go, Aquarius. First card out. Two of Wands. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Right in the heartbeat of your Celtic cross. Two of Wands. The old crossroads card right there. Could be, you know, it's fire energy right here. And we did have that strength card come out, just saying. Somebody's probably got fire in their chart. Looks like they're looking at a new world, Aquarius. Looks like they may have to let something go, or they are attempting to let something go. I don't know what that is. But uh, they have their eyes on a new world right there. You know, it's two of wands. There's always that little wall right there that we have to press through or go over or whatever it takes to get to that new world. So, you know, ultimately this is somebody, you know, on a low, you know, the Somebody has set their intentions on you, Aquarius. Here we go. Crossing over top of that. Yeah, they definitely did set their intentions on you, Aquarius. This is my independent, self-assured, confident business person right here. I would have to assume that it's you, Aquarius. Many times this is somebody that's single because they choose to be single. Because, well, they got nine pentacles. They got it going on, Right. Minor Arcana Empress for me. Very high vibrational, right? Got it going on. And anybody that would come into this world would need to bring, well, the coin that would fit. That would become the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's got their eyes on Nine of Pentacles, Aquarius. <laughs> and, you know, there may be some communication. These are ones. Here we go. What do we got? The Hermit. Ooh, a major arcana. Hmm. Uh, you know, it's a, uh, right here at the base of the spread, it's the hermit, right? It's a major arcana. It's a very spiritual card. It is a card, you know, probably uh, both of these people. It's a spiritual connection with the hierophant or, or the hermit at the base, right? Both of these people may be taking time with Source at this particular point in time, doing inner work on themselves, healing their heart, healing their mind. Maybe they, you know, the stars here. And maybe somebody's taking a look at Aquarius. Maybe they're talking with Source about it. The Hermit for me is about astrological alignments lining up. It's about being led and guided by the divine. Imagine that with an Aquarius read. I think it's your friend. Because Aquarius is probably already there. Anyway, Hermit, base of the spread. Very interesting. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, Aquarius. Uh, you know, with one card pull on a love spread with my Celtic cross, this is how, uh, how, how, you, how your friend may be thinking and feeling about you at this particular point in time. <laughs> Eight swords. Oh, they need to be talking with source right now. Oh, looks like somebody found the star down inside of themselves and it, I don't know, it blew a circuit right here, you know, because this is about needing more information or, or, or you know, lack of communication. It's here, man. It's here. Somebody making their mind up about Aquarius. You're blowing their mind. They, they go into the gods about you, Aquarius. <laughs> Eight swords, I don't know. It's all trapped in the head, right? It's that feeling of feeling stuck where I'm at. I can't escape. But, you know, this person is not stuck in any way, shape, or form. They get back up on those swords right there and cut those loose binds off. Get out of that little bitty miry clay and get back up there to that high vibration castle. That's probably where Aquarius is hanging up there in that castle up there. Somebody's going to have to make a mental mind break, you know. <laughs> That's the mental mind beep card right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what crowns the spread, Aquarius. I want you getting your rest, getting your sleep, because somebody's figuring something out real special right now, Aquarius, about you. <laughs> Tower. 
Tower came. A major arcana crowning the spread, Aquarius. Tower. <laughs> for them. For them. Oh. Oh, this is this is the jailbreak, Aquarius. This is the jailbreak. If there was, um, you know, if this wand over here was somebody else that was getting in the way or whatever this is, you see them, they're letting it go. They, they, they've been letting it go. They've been all up in their head about letting it go. They've been talking with Source about letting it go. Whatever has been holding them back. Boom tower. <laughs> that talks about sudden change, Aquarius. Welcome to May. Let's take a look. Immediate future. You know I'm interested in this. Here we go. Oh, Aquarius. Queen of Love showing up, Aquarius. What? I knew they were happy cards, man. Aquarius. Queen of Love, the highest love card in the tarot deck for me, Aquarius, is about agape love, the God kind of love, the unconditional love. Yes, the love of the gods has showed up here. It's my Queen of Cups. It could be uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here, here they come, male or female, the Queen, the Queen of Cups with her cup of love, Aquarius. You know, this could be an empath, somebody with psychic abilities, or or that could have all developed right here since they met Aquarius, just saying. Aquarius, you can be a little bit infectious with all this consciousness expansion that's happening, and people that come play around you might get a little bit infected with a little bit of consciousness expansion. Is that what happened here? Anyway, Queen of Love showing up, Aquarius. Here we go. How Aquarius would see themselves at this particular point in time, the moon card. Uh, you know, they, you know, it's because it's, it's right here. They're not talking. When they do, they're scattered. They're talking with source. They got to let go of something. And whatever it is, it's going to be huge. And it's going to make a huge shift in this individual. Chill, Aquarius. Stay up there in that castle. I told you a couple of readings ago, fly high. Wave to him out of the window. Hey, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> but the moon, you know, is all that smoky mirrors. And, you know, that's what tarot's about is getting the insight. Maybe you'll see what you've been working on, you know, in the in the 5D. Maybe you'll see it on the, on the cards right here. The moon, you know. I having to use my intuition to go down this doggone smoky trail right here. You know, I'm not going back in the water. I'm going down that trail because it appears that the sun is shining in that land over there. You know, definitely face some towers on this journey. I'm sure of that, you know, because of, because of probably lack of communication between these two. At, at a minimum. Right. There's some stuff that they didn't want to let you know that they're letting go of. They're, they're letting go of it regardless if they're letting you know about it or not. They probably will when they come in like the Queen of Love. Exterior influence on Two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Oh, the magician. A major arcana, Aquarius. It's a, you know, this is somebody right here, this Queen of Love. Look at that right there. Male or female, right? That was in Eight Swords. <laughs> this tower coming for them, Aquarius, and they're gonna show up like the, like the bell of the ball. And that's because the magician's here, right? This is the manifester. This is somebody who wants to manifest all new beginnings all around in their entire life. Maybe they're letting go of everything for you, Aquarius. I mean, everything. Maybe, maybe, maybe they don't want you to know the price that they're about to pay. I don't know, man. It's huge. It's huge, Aquarius. I want you to remember this. There's a tower here and they're going through a tower for you because they want to be the magician in your world. That's what I'm getting out of this. They want to be your queen of love, male or female. Wow. They want to manifest a whole new beginning here. This is gorgeous, Aquarius. Here we go. Hopes or fears. 
Hangman, hangman, wait a little while. Well, you know, hopes would that be, you know, Aquarius being on this moon journey right here because it doesn't show that it goes bam until the tower comes and the queen of love beside the magician shows up here. So <laughs> we're on the moon. These are all major arcanas, by the way. What do we got? One, two, three, four major, five major arcana out of eight cards. Hangman, I don't want to stay in dark night of the soul about this. I don't want to. I don't want to stay in the darkness about this anymore. I do like the sources coming in there. I see all that light gonna gonna knock Hangman down out of the tree. So, and you know, Hangman for hopes would be. I'm hoping that uh, they they are having a uh, a change of their perspective about me. You know, why, why aren't they talking? I'm telling you why they're not talking. Because they're letting something huge go. I, like I said, I don't know. I kind of felt maybe everything in their life. It's kind of crazy, Aquarius. Weather overall. Talking! Oh my God, that's what the whole theme has been about since I started doing readings after this moon. You know, that Scorpio full moon. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. And the hermit. Somebody is talking with swords. It's, uh, this whole spread is based on a very spiritual change in somebody's life. And after that came all these major arcana right here, Aquarius. And an ace of swords came out as the weather overall, right? Communication. An epiphany. An epiphany about who Aquarius is to somebody. Conversations about integrity and character. Conversations about uh, clearing anything. Clearing anything that's in the way right here. So the queen of love can show up. I, I love all this, man. Tower. Ace of swords. Queen of love. Uh, Aquarius, somebody dropped the sword on something right here. This is a jailbreak <laughs> uh, like I've never seen. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. I'm happy for you. Queen of Love's coming in. After God knows how long, man. Here we go, Aquarius. And, and that's because there's lots of talking. There's lots of talking happening. So Aquarius, help your friend if you want. Uh, you are, regard <laughs> regardless if you're around him or not, Aquarius. Uh, they know you're in their world. And, you know, they're probably hesitant because they, they, they you know, eight, eight swords. Uh, they knew what the outcome would be for them. Appears to me, Aquarius, they're willing to, what Rambler would call, pay the price. Pay the price for something very special. King of Love on the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. King of Love, Queen of Love are here. King of Love, you know, I love them. Have the potential to be an amazing partner. Have the potential to be quite spiritual. They have their hands in the namaste position. I would say both these people are pretty enlightened. The King of Love, you know, is somebody that uh, loves you very deeply, Aquarius. Um... But they haven't been showing you how deeply they really feel for you. They're going to right here. Look, there's the king and queen of love. Look, they're right there. Somebody's making a decision about nine of pentacles. Princess right there. They do, man. Whatever it is, is going to be huge, Aquarius. You're going to know all about it. Tower. King of love up at the bottom of the deck. Love dams breaking right here. Here they come. Brum, 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 bum, 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 bum. Lightning pony. This is in the future right here. It's after the tower. And then I got four swords, which is a card of healing for me. So your friend's going to get the healing that they've needed from whatever that wand was that they were holding on to right there. And they have the, you know, uh, they're going to come charging in. Absolutely. Let them heal, Aquarius, you know. But when they when the communications break through, don't hold back, Aquarius. Don't hold back. They they probably, you know, need to make the move. I don't know who to be. They're, they're probably going to make the move. Because of the tower right there. Because they're making a jailbreak. So where are they going to run to, Aquarius? They're going to run to you. It's right there. The queen, the king of love is going to run to you. Uh, because there's healing. There's healing in your world, Aquarius. 
you know, I wouldn't say they're completely healed yet. I wouldn't say that this is going to be like skipping down the aisle next week. But it's definitely begun, Aquarius. You see it? Look at this. Oh, look, and there's a high priestess right there, right? And she's quite healing in these kind of journeys in love, you know. Um, probably strong communication with you two tel telepathically. All these majors. Wow, they're just majors everywhere. Hmm. Been a little bit of silence. That's about to change, Aquarius. High Priestess is here. Let's do it. Let's let's uh, throw some more out on this uh, amazing read right here for Aquarius and love writers. Let's clarify all this with the Witch's Tarot. Thank you, love team. Here we go. Chopping them up for Aquarius. Going to cut the deck. Aquarius with the Witch's Tarot for clarification. Thank you, love team. We'll freestyle it. Here we go. Aquarius, Nine of Pentacles, Two Wands. Two wands, nine pinnacles. Why is it in the heartbeat of Aquarius's spread? Wow, strength card came out, Aquarius. It's about somebody taming the beast within. And again, it's that strength card, you know. Oh, Crowley. He called it the lust card. There's some fire. There's some fire and some loins here, but look how mellow that lion has become, Aquarius. Strength card. Somebody's finding the strength within side of themselves to pull the to pull the plunger on the tower for Aquarius. <laughs> Woo! Here we go, Aquarius. Hermit. Hermit. Why is the hermit here? Face of the spread. King of swords. <laughs> ah, that's an Aquarius card right there. See, somebody's all up in their head about Aquarius. Oh, and it could be that, you know, there's swords up here, right? Lack of communication, secrets, the moon, hangman, Aquarius, dark night of the soul for a while. I'm hoping somebody gets a perspective about what's going on with love. King of swords right here. So you're all up in somebody's head right here. <laughs> and he's got that sword raised up. It's almost like, you know, with that sword being on... You know, they're kind of concerned that uh, if they don't fix this soon, they might know Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, eight swords. Come on, give me a jailbreak right here. Jailbreak, jailbreak. They talking, there's communication. Don't tell me you ain't talking with this person. You're talking with them a little bit. Going to be more and more coming in because I did see eight of wands when we were, when we were, Shuffling the deck was going crazy. Go back and look at all those cards that came out. Here we go. Eight swords. It's the lovers, Aquarius. This person has realized that you are the lovers. It's a major arcana with all these other major arcanas out here. The lovers, Aquarius. See, the hermit. The high priestess. This isn't for everybody, but this is for somebody that went down on the inside and was talking with Source about the relationship that they have with Aquarius. I told you these are enlightened people here. You know, if you're dealing with somebody who feels a twin flame and they're a flake, they're probably not. In my opinion, with my studies, real twin flames are generally both advanced Anyway, you should go over and check out some of my stuff. It's amazing stuff over there on uh, divinelovetarot.com. But anyway, the lover's card's a huge card. A lot of people just throw that off. And the tarot reading lover's card showed up here. Your friend had a revelation that you are their lover. Lover's card is a, you know, it's a uh, past life. Uh, lovers, right? Soulmates, twin flames, life partners, right? And they've realized that they want these two lovers that are normally on the opposite ends of the card to come together in the middle. Wow. You know, and the problem with the lover's card, you know, um, is that that may take a lot of work for this all to come together. And this has had a lot of work in it, hasn't it, Aquarius? 
You know, a lot of people give up on the love game long, 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 long before, you know, it's over because they don't recognize the power of the lover's card. So, lover's card, they realize, uh, Aquarius, that you are their lover. Tower! <laughs> It's the Knight of Cups. It's the one that makes the heart go boom, da da boom, da da boom, 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 Aquarius. Coming prancing in. Hi, Aquarius. Here's my card. <laughs> Waterfall starts crashing down. Go boom, tower. <laughs> Happy May, Aquarius. Wow. Queen of Love. Queen of Love. Give me some on that Queen of Love for Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh my goodness. I thought it might be a four wander story. Mike gives a lot of credit to this minor arcana of four wands. The 1111 11 card. Dancing around the maypoles, preparing for the big day. All these major arcana. On this spread, Minor Arcana, Four Wands comes up. This read ain't for everybody, and I don't read for everybody. I read for these people. Wow. Queen of Loves realize where their Four Wands is at, Aquarius. Look at this near future, Aquarius. I just want to run around the block. Shouting. I got it. I got it. I already got it. See, because it's right now, it's over here. So you need to be running down the streets. I got it. I got it. I already got it. That's the power of tarot. Create your own reality by what you think and what you feel and what you believe. Moon card for my Aquarius. I hope and I'm bringing some light to this old moon path right here. Moon card. That is about following your intuition. It's right there. It's going to change, Aquarius. Look, another major arcana came out on this. The chariot. You know, you're going to start going down that moon trail like did. Like, yeah, boy, there's that sun right there. Let's go. There's that dark pony and that light pony, right? And the chariot, you know, is a card of victory. It is a major victory. It is the, the dark pony and the light pony appear to be going down the proper trail anymore towards... Aquarius! <laughs> it's the magician coming in here for you. See? That would be somebody enlightened. Just saying. Just saying. If you're playing with a if you're playing with somebody that is totally out of control and you're thinking that's your twin flame, that ain't this. This is the magician. This is the hermit. This is the high priestess. And they know they have to pull a plug. It's going to cause a major tower. And Aquarius, I'm telling you, they're going to do it for you, Aquarius. It's right here. See? This ain't no dummy. Not with all these. Now, give me something on that. Give me something on that magician right there. So I've been studying this stuff, man, for a while. Go over there and take a look, man. This is interesting stuff. Ooh, it's the King of Wands came out on that, you know. And, you know, on top of the magician, right? That's just simple stuff right there, right? It would say to me, Aquarius, a lot of things. It would say to me, of course, I think you're good looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with, entrepreneur energy for many of you. Somebody gets up and makes things happen. Somebody that makes things go forward. Somebody that's full of a lot of passion, right? They want to manifest this individual into their life right here. It's king of wands. Energy. You know, the go-getter. The go-getter, the one that makes things happen. Wow, they think you're, they think you're really hot, Aquarius. We'll put it that way. Sitting right there. Look at this right here. Look at this. Look at this spread right across here. Lovers, eight of swords, strength card on top of two of wands, nine of pentacles, near future, queen of love, four of wands, exterior influence, magician. 
King of Wands, uh, you know, Minor Arcana Emperor, just saying. Hangman. 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 Give me something on that. Aquarius! Wow, well, another major. <laughs> another, man, just another major Arcana with this read for you, Aquarius. The star. The star, you know, somebody getting a new perspective about who their star is, Aquarius. It's right here. It's Aquarius. It's right there. Look, they figured it out. <laughs> hey, they figured it out. You know, the golden angelic being, right, with the two cups of love in their hand. One pouring in the water, one pouring in the land, right, finds in a period of separation, it appears to be coming to an end, Aquarius. Because somebody's going to pay the price. Whatever that is, that tower. Wow. I want to look at that. Queen of Pentacles came out on that. Um, Look at this right here. The tower came out with Queen of Pentacles. So, again... Queen of Pentacles, you know, that would be the catch. It could be, I mean, this could be somebody that was married, right? This is a married person, possibly. Right, Aquarius? I see it right here. Yeah, somebody may be uh, well, pulling the plug, getting divorced. That's what it was all about. But whatever it is, they are definitely letting something major go in their life. And, you know, um, there's a change in this person, too, is what I'm feeling, because, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is an amazing uh, individual, uh, runs her kingdom amazingly, but can be a little frigid. <sighs> Hard to please. Aquarius. It's all about to change. Wow. Ace of Swords. Weather overall, communication, somebody having an epiphany about Aquarius, integrity, character, crowning this spread. Wow, Aquarius. Justice. Somebody's dropping the sword on something for you. Pretty serious, Aquarius. Give it a minute. They're coming for you. I'm telling you, wild horses. And this is about the balancing of karma. Probably between some minor arcana, four of wanders. Let's do it, man. This is amazing. Let's see. We got five of cups right there. It goes from five of cups to ten of cups, Aquarius. Look, here's here's Hangman, Odin, Odin's crow right there coming and bringing in that golden pinnacle. From my Aquarius. Here it is right here. It goes from five of cups to ten of cups. Because there's a solid offer coming in here for you, Aquarius. I love it. Oh, and there it is right there. A fresh start, a new beginning, a leap of faith. Wow. Wow. Let's do it. Let's do it. Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, my God. Aquarius. Love. Aquarius. Woo. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Of course you get this card. Worth waiting for. The old divine timing right here. See, this isn't the normal spread. I don't do normal spreads. I, I don't go who you're going to go meet next week and play with. No, I, these, are, these, these, are, these are stories of the lovers that I read for. Playfulness. Look at this, Aquarius. Okay, 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 Aquarius. Look, King of Swordsy. It says playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, Aquarius. Wow. One more. Man, this is ooey gooey. Wow, look. It's safe for you to love, came out, Aquarius. That's what this tarot spread says, too. <laughs> So free yourself from yourself, Aquarius. Because <laughs> this chemistry, look at this right here. Look at this. Yeah, there's a strong magnetic attraction right here. 
<laughs> That's because you. I, what was there was you know love yourself first. It's because Aquarius should learn to love yourself first. <laughs> Let's do it. Major Aquarius. It's the lovers, Aquarius. There's only two of them in this picture. See them in the heavenlies. See them reflecting each other, right? The four of wands, the reflection of the four of wands. So that's why Mike has been telling you to fly high because, well, they're reflecting you. And they're about to get out of this eight swords right here and get back up to that high flying castle that's way up there, Aquarius, where Aquarius is at. The lover is Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, the chariot, Aquarius. It's about victory. Definitely after a battle. Aquarius! Enjoy May. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.